Well, hey everybody, Jonathan Doyle with you once again. Welcome aboard to The Daily Message. I'm loving doing these recently. Had some really beautiful feedback from so many people around the world. So if you like what you're hearing, watching each day, I'd love you to leave a comment. Um, please make sure you've subscribed. Hit that big subscribe button. It'd be great to just have you on board regularly. And um, like I said, please leave a comment. I find that the absolute best content is always the content generated by you guys. So let me know in the comments or email me direct, jonathan at jonathandoyle.co and uh, let me know if I can make something just specifically for you. Today we're going to break with normal convention. We're going to jump into really something that's been on my heart and mind for the last few weeks. Not going to be using a quote uh, in this episode. Tomorrow I'll be back to quoting some of the great figures of history. But today... I wanted to talk with you about a topic that I think shapes more of our reality, our outcomes than almost anything else. And I want to talk to you about the concept of habits. Habits is an area of personal development that, uh, you know, a little bit like the start of Homer's great epic poem, The Iliad. It's uh, if Helen of Troy was the face that launched a thousand ships, habits is the personal development concept that has launched a thousand blogs. There is so much in the personal development space around the concepts of habits, so many great books. Before I forget, I think probably the best book recently, one of the most popular books at least, is Atomic Habits. I know some of you will have read that. So if after this video today you want to go a bit further with this whole thing, go and check out Atomic Habits. I, I think I originally did the audiobook version but found it really good. There's a huge amount of science behind it. And of course, why wouldn't there be? Think about just how much habits shape almost every aspects, aspect of our reality. Why are they so important? The basic reason they matter so much is because imagine a world where you had to relearn everything every single day, right? So imagine if each day of your life you had to relearn how to brush your teeth. You had to relearn how to drive to work or school. You had to relearn a sporting talent or skill or an instrument. If you, every single day you had to start from scratch again. So one of the great things about our human adaptive capability is that we learn very early in the evolutionary journal to simplify repetitive behaviors, right? Our, our, our development as humans in terms of things like evolutionary psychology, evolutionary biology, really developed by the ability to do repetitive tasks really quickly, really simply, without having to waste energy and time relearning them. So one of the cool things about being human is that we're constantly looking for shortcuts that simplify the load on our brain and on our nervous systems and on our whole body. So you can see, of course, why habits developed to be something so important. Now we get to the most important part that we can all relate to, which is, of course, what? that there are good habits and there are bad habits. How do we differentiate them? I guess I would say negative habits are anything that cause you to move backwards on your life journey. They damage health, they damage relationships, they da damage effectiveness, they damage outcomes. Anything that stops you moving progressively towards your potential is probably a habit that we have to call every negative habit a bad habit. Some can be highly destructive, as you know. Various addictions and behaviors can be incredibly destructive to individuals, communities, relationships, families. But then all of us have got the little ones, right? We've got those little habits that just cause a bit of havoc each day. And not even dramatically, right? I mean, you'll agree, right? They, they can just be small things that hold us back. So in this episode, I don't want to talk to you about how we go about building positive habits. That's a topic for another day. A lot of people want to talk about that. How do I, I don't like exercise. How do I build a habit of exercise? We'll get to that another time. What I'm going to focus in this episode is something I've been observing in myself lately is how do we go after, how do we begin to shift those small negative behaviors that can hold us back? I don't mean the big dramatic things necessarily. I mean the smaller daily things that can just be time wasters, be efficiency and effectiveness wasters, that can just, I mean, I don't know about you, but it, you know, I can blink sometimes and I've just wasted a bunch of time doing something. So I want to put a few thoughts in your head about the negative habits in your life. Step one is to identify. Step one is to just begin to notice. I was talking to someone yesterday about this 
you know, we've got to get really good at noticing when we're doing things that aren't helping us. And, and I was talking to someone about negative self-talk. You know, the stuff that I teach around negative self-talk is that the very first step is always recognition. The very first step is you've got to notice that it's happening, catch yourself doing it. So with addressing negative habits, the first step is consciousness, is to identify, to kind of be conscious and awake, to just begin to go, oh, that's not helping me. Why am I doing that? Why do I always do that, right? So to identify what it is. So once you begin that identification process, and I think it's intuitive, I think most of us naturally just know. So here, will give you my example, right? I'll, I'll come clean with you about the, the deep, re, dark recesses of my soul. Um, I don't know if you do this, but, I, you know, news websites was a thing for me, right? Because I don't have social media. I've got, I use YouTube and Rumble and that's it. I have no social media. But I have a huge interest in ideas and the world and I just found myself over the years just constantly checking, you know, latest headlines, latest headlines. So many issues with it. One is that it drives anxiety. It just, on, on, the, on the basic psychological level, we get anxious because we're constantly just being told how terrible everything is. But just the distraction factor, just kind of constantly, you know, just checking in, checking in, checking in. Has the world ended? Have dinosaurs attacked? You know, um, we it just became a habit. And what's negative about it? Well, does it move me forward on my journey of development and growth? Does it move me towards my potential? Well, you could make a case that reading the great newspapers of the world informs you about the world. Yeah, I get it. But that's not what most of us are doing. It's not what I was doing. So my first step was to begin to notice it, just to notice how often I would kind of be just checking, 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 checking. And morning routines, like my morning routine, I'd be making a coffee like 4 a.m., and I'd be scrolling the news. And I began to learn that that can actually have a pretty negative effect just in terms of how it sets up our brain chemistry for the day. So my first step was a recognition to identify what I was doing, to identify that it wasn't moving me forward. And then I just began, I, I just stopped. And, and the reason I could just stop, because I know you'd love me to give you some incredibly fancy strategy about how I overcame it. I think we, we, we can tend to need some pretty sophisticated strategies for major negative habits. But for me, the small ones are like weeds in a garden. If you just begin to pick up the small ones, just pick up the small ones, just stop the small ones. The data about how long it takes is kind of like an urban myth. One day you hear it's 21 days to change a habit or start a habit. Next you hear it's 90. I think in the book Atomic Habits, it's around about 90 days. It's around about three months. If you build, if you begin to remove something. And the other thing about these negative habits is that there's a fair bit of logic that says rather than deliberately trying to cold turkey stop them, that you replace them with something else. So that you, for me now, my morning routines, I, I guess I've just become much more switched on. I'm like, that's time wasting. Don't do that. You've been down this path. You know what this place looks like. You know what your day looks like if you go down this path. So I began to get really conscious about it. Uh, I began to notice it. And then I just stopped. I just kind of stopped. What did I replace it with? I guess I replaced it with a deeper sense of just, come on, purpose, let's go. There's a lot to do. There's people to take care of. There's contribution to make. This isn't helping you, Jonathan. It's not moving you forward. So I wish I could give you something so amazingly complex that you were dazzled by it. But I think all I want to say to you in this video is this journey of personal development and growth is, is so much about habits, so much of our behavior and our outcomes is about the daily habits of thinking and doing that shape it. So much of our behavior is conscious, semi-conscious, how we eat, um, you know, how we eat, whether we exercise, how we speak, what we watch, what we do with our time. Our thought process is so much of it is just habitual. So as you begin to recognize the habits, the habits of thought, the habits of action, and then you begin to just ask that simple filter question, is this moving me forward? Get an answer to that question. If the answer is yes, then do more of it <laughs> or just do as much as you are. Keep going. If the answer is no, then as David Goggins might say, look in the accountability mirror. Just look in the mirror of your, stand in front of the mirror and say, this is not moving me forward. It's not moving me forward. So I have been encouraged to do more and more deep work, more and more deep thinking, more and more focused, deliberate action, no more news scrolling. So I'll check news once a day. I use an app for with pretty high quality news. And even now, I'm probably going to cancel that. And I'm going to go to reading a major paper once a week, probably weekends, which is a good summary of global events. I use Substack a lot for some really high quality analysis. But... Um, 
yeah, that's that's kind of where it's got to. That's just one example. Uh, so I want to encourage you. I want to say that your happiness and success and contribution, now I notice how I always say contribution, because for me, winning the game of life is not just about accumulation and success. It's about that, if you want it, but also contribution and what you bring and leave and bless other people with. So complex one today. I hope I haven't uh, confused you too much. But I want to ask you to go to work now. I want to ask you to start looking into your life, getting conscious, noticing things, using the filter question. Is this helping? Is this hindering? Is it moving me forward? Is it holding me back? Then change it. Just change it. Don't get too fancy. Just go, nah, this one's no good. This one's got to stop. I'll come back to this in other episodes because I, I know that there are habits we have that have really got a hold on us, positive or negative, and we don't, you know. So we'll go deeper in the future, but for now, I want to get this on your radar. I want you thinking about it. I want you looking into your life and looking at the habits and seeing if they're moving you forward. All right, that's it. Please hit subscribe. Uh, there should be access here. I did mention this before. A free copy of my book, Bridging the Gap. Go and grab yourself free access to that book. There's a link here. Do that. Um, please share this with people, and uh, God bless you. Thanks so much for checking in. I'm going to have another episode for you tomorrow.